Welcome back to Post Time. A man owns a racehorse who has never won a race. So the guy is like totally disgusted. And he says to the horse, okay, this is the deal. Either you win tonight or tomorrow morning, you're pulling the milk wagon. So they get behind the starting gate, starting gate opens and the horse is asleep. So the guy says, what's wrong? What are you doing? The horse says, I'm taking a nap. I got to get up at 3.30 in the morning. In here, number four, Drew Bromack just missed last time out for trainer Les Givens. The five, Josh's ZTAM, hasn't raced in a month, but still is a big threat in here. And number eight, Exotic Toy, has Corey Callahan in the bike for the very first time. And off there goes Casimir Bad Boy out for that lead. Captain Jack is there with Nagin toward the inside as they race into the turn. Casimir Bad Boy. Nagin got away in second, followed by Captain Jack. Down toward the inside, that's Drew Bromack. Caught out is Nightclub. Moving through at the rail, Josh's Z Tam, followed by KP's Cruiser. Exotic Toy caught outside also. As they head up the back stretch, Nagin took the lead. Casimir Bad Boy back to second, two or three lanes. Captain Jack. And then comes Drew Bromack, 29 seconds into the far turn. And it's Nagin leading by a length and a half. Nagin now two lanes over Casimir, bad boy. That's Captain Jack in third, racing for Drew Bromack, followed by Josh Zetam. They come by the stands now on the way toward the half. Nagin. Nagin followed by Casimir, bad boy. Captain Jack got away third. Drew Bromack is fourth and coming to the outside. Following is Josh Zetam. Then it's KP's Cruiser, Exotic Toy, and Nightclub. 58 and 3 fifths. They race into the turn with Nagin leading. Casimir Bad Boy is there with Drew Bromack on the outside. Captain Jack is back to fourth. Josh Z Tam outside in fifth as they hit the back stretch. It's Nagin, Casimir Bad Boy. Drew Bromack gains on the outside, followed by Josh Z Tam. Toward the rail, Captain Jack. Another two or three lanes to Exotic Toy. They go by three quarters. In 127 and 3 fifths into the far turn, Nagin just a half length. Drew Bromack is on the outside. Then it's Casimir Bad Boy with Josh's Z Tam. They come to the top of the stretch, and it's still Nagin with Drew Bromack. And down inside, dropping back just a bit there. Casimir Bad Boy, they come off the turn. Nagin, Drew Bromack on the outside. Coming farther out now is Josh's Z Tam and Exotic Toy. Here's Exotic Toy. And Josh Z Tam in 157-1. Exotic Toy comes from last to first and wins by a head in 157-1. The four-year-old is owned and trained by Russell Foster. Josh's Z Tam was second and third went to Drew Bromack. Exotic Toy's winning driver is Corey Callahan. And Post Time would like to send out a big congratulations to Corey and his new wife, Joanna. They were married on September 17th in Standish, Maine. Come out and see Corey and all your favorite harness racers at Harrington Raceway. This is the last week of the fall meet. Live racing this week is Sunday through Thursday with a post time of 5.30 p.m. That means that the last day of the fall meet is Thursday, October 27th. And there's some extra special live racing going on tomorrow night. That's the Delaware Standard Bread Breeders Fund $100,000 finals. They go to post on Monday, October 24th. Sundays are also a great night to come out to the track and bring the whole family to Harrington Raceway for free family entertainment. Join Snippy Doodles the Clown for balloon art and face painting. And Wednesday is a great night to come up to the clubhouse for dinner. Snow crab legs are featured on the buffet menu in the clubhouse. So you aren't into seafood. Believe me, there's something for everybody on this delicious menu. Don't forget there's always free parking and free admission at Harrington Raceway. For more information, call 302-398-RACE or visit them on the web at harringtonraceway.com.